grand awakening this day. Um, I haven't been on much, talking much, uh, not even looking about stuff that's been going on. I've just been focusing on giving my time, energy, and love to people that really want it and need it and ask for it. So that's what I've been doing. And it's been very rewarding. So in what I really want to state this morning, this rising, it's not morning. Because I want you to know a video I watched, it was pretty complete. And it confirmed all of what we've been sharing for a couple of years now. You're not crazy. It's not a conspiracy. Um, and if you want to think the people that you thought were the government or puppets for some pe the Bilderbergs, we might as well say. These powerful families that control political leaders and set out an agenda against humanity, which means that they don't feel like they are part of humanity. So if you're going against the whole fucking planet, then y'all, all y'all niggas and your disciples all gots to go. How about that? Because it's more of us than you. So, um, they set up everything for you to fail. They put everything in your way, rigged the game so that you would fail. So that you would attach all of these failures to yourself, to guilt, to a whole bunch of things and decisions you were forced to do that normally you would have never, God never, source never would have set up for you. The devil went rampant. I'll say the dark ones. You illuminated ones, light workers, etc., star seeds. We knew. But we were here to help say something's not right. This is not the norm. We don't want to return to the norm. We want so much better to what was promised to all of us. I want to speak to some people who feel like I'm taking something from them. I can take something I never knew I had or existed. Whatever you feel you're entitled to, you will get. And it's not a dig, it's positive. Because I see how we all fell. Not I fell tower. We all fell tower. Because we went to help each other in a fight. And they didn't play fair and did the okie doke on us. So while we're fighting and battling their seeds in the land. And this is what Rod and I talked about. So, yes, they're dirty players. People became dirty, but I don't consider people born to do evil shit. They taught it, shown it. They liked it because that's the way this world was ran, by evil. Them niggas right hit their little nuke button, which Putin wouldn't put a nuke in his own backyard, especially with the air. It's just stupid. So, the new talk is really them Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderberg families sending messages on the air trying to make everybody fearful because they about to lose. They about to explode. Their fucking plan is over. Your war plan is over, niggas. So, I'm not really familiar with what's happening with Brittany Griner or those specific details, but 
as an ambassador, protectorate, from the higher ups, as a representative down here, she'll be released all of our political prisoners, release them, open those gates so we can clear out the prisons and put the real motherfuckers that belong in there so they can spend the rest of their lives. Slow death. Kill them while they breathing. Don't. I don't need to be quick with some of these. They need to like suffer for the rest of their meat suit. And the technology that they've been using to prolong their life will now be used to our families, benefits, and everything. The flip is here. So, Brittany is an indigenous person to Amor Inca, who has the freedom of travel, who has the right to carry her sacrament, her holy sacrament, no matter how much quantity. She has that right. So she should be released. These fake ass political puppets. Some of y'all doing the right thing, but the ones that aren't, y'all out to. Y'all definitely getting beheadings. And I can't wait till that alert system goes off because that means the final cleanup. A lot of us have been crying and cleaning, purification, that's healing. And that's helping. And we're moving that energy. We're helping clean up. So when you clean up your space and show that you're a good steward, look at this. The purple one, green one, red one. Oh, y'all are so beautiful. You'll be, you're showing that you're ready for to be leveled up because you're taking care of what you have at this level. And, 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 those blessings are about to flow, 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 flow. So we have a, a couple more months till New Year's. Some of us, please, let's let's plan some uh, New Year's parties, cookouts, reunions. It's time. You guys are put in the work to heal generational traumas, to heal your immediate bloodline some of us had the distance and heart grew fonder or whatever perspectives changed i'm just so proud of everybody and whatever struggle you are holding on to let it go because it's about to be taken care of and just manage yourself balance yourself because some of us have been emotionally rocking because we got clear the rest of this energy and transmute it. So we can be ready to level up. No more jealousy. No more war. No more tribal, trouble. No more drama. No more sickness. It is real. All of those statements are now factually real. So I want to send nothing but love. Love love to you and your family and your children and those that are giving birth and definitely to Rod and his family his grandbaby he's gonna go see and the ones that are missing their loved ones honestly they coming right back energy never dies and it seems like we get looped back in here until we clean it up. And we're going to have a family reunion. So I believe that. I believe that. I've been feeling my ancestors more and more. And I never believed that. I always wanted to know what that felt like. Now I do. So keep doing the work. Tap into your family line. Keep. It's not even a war right now. Because these niggas lost. We're at the pivotal tipping point of the battle. And I guess I feel like I now can see the other side. We're almost there, the other side. 
Grand Rising. Let's see who else we can get. I see the green. I see something else. I love the lens flare. Oh, there we go. It's a green, purple. These are like nipples. <laughs> so I just wanted to send out love. Look at this. Love is coming to you. Right on my shoulder. <laughs>